Welcome to TurboSound's guide to the EaseFocus 2 software, a powerful tool developed by AFMG. It's designed to create accurate 3D models for acoustic simulation of line array systems and configurable loudspeakers. This will allow you to use your system to its maximum potential. The free software can be downloaded from the TurboSound website along with the relevant data files. To install the software, simply extract the files and run the setup. The install wizard will then open to guide you through the process. Looking at the workspace, we can see three distinct areas. The left panel shows project and object properties. The top panel shows the horizontal coverage of the system and the bottom panel shows the vertical coverage of the system. Other options on the bottom panel are the levels, frequency response and distribution. Windows can be freely moved and resized. It's possible to save your own custom layouts and recall these later. Initially, the product properties should be set, including basic room information such as temperature, air pressure and humidity. By opening up the project settings menu, you can set the ear heights of the audience. You can also set height limits here. The upper height limit should represent the ceiling height of the space you're working in, whilst the lower height limit should represent the stage height. Now we can begin to insert audience zones. This is done in the top view. Different shaped audience zones can be created and if necessary, split into multiple zones to show audience distribution. We're now going to modify the current zone to represent the stage. Firstly, we can set the dimensions of the stage and then its position from the origin. The arrow in the middle of the shape shows the direction of the viewers relative to the speakers. We will therefore need to flip the arrow to show this. To do this, insert 180 into orientation or right click the zone and choose edit Flip horizontally. You can also name your zones to avoid confusion. By holding shift, you can use the mouse to measure any distance and time delay between points. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to come back for part two of our EaseFocus 2 guide.